Okay, everybody. So let's take a look at how to use Excel to find percentiles. Because you could do it all day long um, manually, like we've been doing, by kind of eyeballing where the percents are. But a couple problems. Number one, I was kind to give you a data set with exactly 100 values in it. That was extraordinarily nice of me. <laughs> Most data sets are not going to be so uh, evenly divisible by things like 10 and 5. And also, data sets are going to be huge sometimes. And it's going to be way easier to let a, a computer system scroll through rather than doing it with your own two eyes. So let's learn the commands for this. So for the percentile, if, ignore percentile rank. We'll do that in the next video. For percentile, just click up in here and type equals, spell out percentile. Did I spell it? I did spell it right. And then I'm going to left parentheses. First thing it asks for is the array, which is just the data set. That's a Excel speak for what bunch of numbers are you playing with. Then a comma. And now K is a little bit strange. That's the percent you're looking for. And make sure you type it as a percent. I personally like as a, uh, as a decimal. So I'm going to type point 0.1, which is 10%, and press Enter. And I get 24, which is probably exactly what you got when you did this, uh, this manually. 40th percentile, exa exactly the same thing. You can just adjust your percentage from 10% to 40%. And it's 28, which is probably exactly what you got for number three. I'll let you practice four and five. 